that is question 166 in which of the following the genus name its two characters and its class phylum are correctly matched option first is pristis pristis is the scientific name for sawfish and sawfish is a cartilaginous fish अब इसके फीचर्स जो हैं हम देखते हैं स्किन इज कवर्ड विथ साइक्लॉइड और टीनॉइड स्केल्स दिस इज इनकरेक्ट रिगार्डिंग प्रिस्टिस बिकॉज इट्स स्किन इज कवर्ड बाय प्लेकॉइड स्केल्स नॉट साइक्लॉइड और टीनॉइड स्केल्स एंड नेक्स्ट इट इज गिवन एयर ब्लैडर प्रेजेंट एयर ब्लैडर इज एबसेंट इन कार्टिलेजनस फिशेज एंड इट्स क्लास इज गिवन ऑस्टिक था सो इट इज एन इनकरेक्ट मैच हेयर ऑप्शन टू से स्टेरोपस स्टेरोपस इज द साइंटिफिक नेम फॉर बाट विच इज अ मैमल सो जीनस एंड क्लास इज करेक्टली मैच हेयर लेट्स टू कैरेक्टर स्किन पोजेस हेयर ऑल मैमल्स हैव हेयर एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड सेकेंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज सेड एक्वेटिक This is incorrect regarding bats because bats are terrestrial mammals. So this is an incorrect match here. Option three says salamandra. Salamandra belongs to the class Amphibia, and its two characters are tympanum represents ear. This is correct. And oviparity, that is, it lays eggs. So option three is correct match here. Option four says naja, which is the scientific name for cobra, belonging to the class Reptilia. and it is given fertilization is internal this is correct and tympanum represents ear this is incorrect regarding cobra because it lacks tympanum so among the given option option 3 is the correct match and is the answer for our question so let's proceed to our next question that is question 167 which says chameleon differ from calotes in that chameleon is tree lizard and calotes is garden lizard both of them are member of class reptilia so option first says it is oviparous and development is direct in both of these lizard development is direct but chameleon is not oviparous it is viviparous so this cannot be our answer option 2 says it is poikilothermal both chameleon and calotes are poikilothermal so this cannot be our answer option 3 says it has prehensile tail chameleon has prehensile tail but calotes it lacks prehensile tail so option 3 is correct regarding the difference between the chameleon and calotes and is the answer for our question option 4 says it shows shedding of mesodermal scales reptiles they have epidermal scales not mesodermal scale so this cannot be our answer so let's proceed to our next question that is question 168 which says choose the correct set of animals exhibiting direct development and presence of dicondylic skull agar dicondylic skull ki baat kare it is present in amphibians and mammals amphibians and mammals but in the question it is given about the direct development means we have to select the set of animal which exhibit direct development and have dicondylic skull but amphibians they exhibit indirect development means they have larval form while the mammals they exhibit direct development so basically we have to select the set of animals which includes mammals option first says ichthyophis hyla crocodilus ichthyophis and hyla belongs to the class amphibia 
and crocodile is a reptile and they have monocondylic skull so this cannot be an answer option 2 says balanoptera balanoptera is the scientific name for whale ornithorhynchus that is platypus enteropus bats all three are mammals they exhibit direct development and have dicondylic skull making option 2 as the answer for our question option 3 says delphinus that is dolphin aptenodites that is penguin and fourth nephron that is vulture aptenodites and nephron they exhibit direct development but they have monocondylic skull so this cannot be our answer option 4 says crovis that is crow struthio that is ostrich and testudo that is tortoise all three have monocondylic skull so this cannot be our answer so let's proceed to our next question that is question 169 which says what type of tissue is blood you know that the blood is a connective tissue and that too it is a specialized connective tissue specialized connective tissue making option 4 as the answer for our question let's proceed to our next question that is question 170 which says what happened to the joint if we cut ligaments present at a joint you know that the ligaments they attaches bone to another bone another bone or if kisi joint pe ligaments hi cut ho jaye tab kya hoga option first says it will become freely movable because of the presence of ligaments the bones are connected and there is a proper movement at the joints ab jab ligaments nahi hai to joints freely movable kaise ho sakte hai so this cannot be an answer option 2 says it will become fixed with the help of the ligaments the bones are connected they are kept at the joint and if the ligaments are not there then how uh, joint will become fixed so this cannot be an answer option 3 says the joint become unstable so if the ligaments are cut to jo bones ke beech mein connection hai wo ek establish nahi ho payega and the joints they will become unstable making option 3 as the answer for our question Option 4 says it becomes slightly movable. Agar ligaments nahi hai, to bones ka coordinated movement hi nahi ho paega. So this cannot be our answer.